What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to learn how to set up an e-commerce store on Go High Level. If you sign up for Go High Level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive extended 30 day free trial. That's double the usual 14 days. Plus we're throwing in over $2,000 worth of bonuses, including this landing page template. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so in this tutorial, we are setting up a bakery snapshot and we're going to set up an e-commerce or an online store on the bakery's website. And before setting up the online store, we are going to set up a few things first. So let's go to payments and we're going to set up and uh, list some products and collections for our online store. So let's go to products first. So as you can see, I already pre-made some products here that will be displayed in the online store. So I'll show you how to create a product. So just click create product. Just enter the product's name, enter the description, upload a photo, um, edit your other details like uh, tax codes. Um, later, we're going to uh, include it into a collection, but we're gonna do that later. Your pricing. Um, inventory, if you have inventory, if you want to add a variant and other um, helpful details like SEO uh, optimization stuff right here. All right, so I just inputted the uh, title, the description, um, some pictures. Uh, well, again, we don't have a collection yet. Uh, we're not gonna touch the um, tax properties and stuff. Um, we're not gonna put some additional options, but you may do so uh, if you want to. It says here, statement descriptor overrides default account descriptors, and this is used for customers' bank statements. But for this tutorial, we're not gonna touch this. Uh, for the pricing, so I already put uh, the price, you can choose the uh, currency. So the current price of this product is $6.99, and it's for one time. Uh, let's say you have a uh, subscription product, you can choose recurring to have a uh, recurring uh, payment you could uh, bill monthly it, it really depends so but this is a, a physical product to be delivered uh, so we're going to choose one time so you can also track inventory if you have um, a physical uh, storage um, so yeah so let's say um, uh, 10 so you can, you can you can put it there you can uh, click continue selling when out of stock. It really depends, but for now, we're not going to put this. Uh, additional options, uh, you can enter your price description. Membership offer, if you have um, online courses and stuff, you can add this here. But since this is a bakery, I don't think we, this is appropriate for now. You can add variants. You can add SEO and stuff like what I mentioned earlier. So let's just click save. And you can further edit the product here when you scroll down to pricing after you save um, this product information. So click, uh, you can add more images. And here, notice that I put a price here at the uh, compare at price section. So it says here 750. So this would show that uh, this higher value would, uh, would have a strike through. So let's say, oh, this is from uh, $7.50 now, it's just $6.99. So again, click additional options. You can enter price description and stuff. You can edit the uh, shipping and delivery of this product since this is a physical product. So we'll choose a physical product. So this is um, uh, 500 grams. So let's say 500 grams and then click save. And for bulk uploads, you can also click this import as CSV. So you can download a sample CSV file. It's uh, an Excel spreadsheet with a template and you just have to edit all the details in the spreadsheet and then save and then click to upload for uploading bulk products. And for educational purposes, here's how a CSV looks like. So you just have to um, edit the details in every column, uh, change the names and all this, all the stuff, uh, colors, uh, variants, and uh, just click save and then upload it to go high level. All right, so next step that we need to do is to set up our collections. So just click create collection. Let's say this is bread collection. 
and then just add an image. You can also uh, click additional options for SEO, but we're not going to do that here on this tutorial. So just click add. So next thing that we're going to do is to go back to the products and organize the products that we have and put them in our collection. So click here, edit, and in the product information, just click here and click bread collection. This is the name of the collection that we just created and then click save. So that's how easy it is. So you can go back to your list of products and do the same for each product, add them individually to your collection, or you can create a new product and add them to the collection that you have. So next thing that we're going to do is to go to sites and we are going to showcase our store on our website. So click websites and click the website that we have. So we are going to edit the homepage, Let's edit in a new tab. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the store to our web pages. So let's click here, add elements and go to the store and then click add to site. So click, it will automatically um, create a store layout for you and everything will be pre-built. So there we go. So this is gonna be your products list page and we are going to customize every single detail here. Click save and let's go back to our website section. All right, so once we're back here on our website section, you will see that the products list, product details, car checkout, and thank you page have been added to the list of your pages. Also, please notice that when you go to the store section, this section will also show our website that we created earlier with the products list product details, cart and checkout, and thank you page. So it's basically the same exact website. All right, so let's go ahead and edit the products list page. All right, so basically it's like editing an existing web page. You can change the business name. Let's say, there we go. And then we can uh, upload a uh, photo. Let's see here. Maybe you can use the existing uh, pictures. There we go. Um, you can change the background here. I already uh, pre-copied the link to the uh, image. So overall, you can change the overview or the layout of your uh, products list or uh, product page to blend in with your website. Another thing that you need to do to set up your store is to link the actual products list to your homepage. And to do that, let's edit our homepage. Then let's edit the menu and let's add an item here. So it's gonna be a new menu. So let's rename it. Let's rename it to store. You can either go to website URL or page, but this is easier. Let's just go to page and choose products list. Uh, you have the option to open a new tab or open the link in the same tab. So click submit and let's preview. So we already have the button here, the store. We have the store right here. Let's see if the link works. All right, so it features all the products that we have on our list. So let's try to do a purchase to see if everything is working. Let's add to cart and then let's check out. All right, and you have to make sure that the payment here is on test mode so you can do a test purchase. All right, so let's hit continue and there we go. So we were able to um, successfully uh, place a purchase and we're now here on the thank you page. All right, so again, Go High Level made it very easy for us to create a store page as we didn't need to edit all the links of the products list going to the uh, product details, the, uh, the uh, cart, the uh, checkout page until the thank you page. So another thing that I wanna show you here is that you can also um, showcase your collections list here, like what we um, created earlier. Here, let's just edit this uh, element. So we only have one collection, so let's just delete these two. And then um, you can rename this bread collection. You can also edit the number of columns. So when you click this, choose, the existing collection that we created and let's click save. So there we go. So it's going to show the bread collection that we 
created, including all the products in this certain list. So if we click preview, it's going to appear here. And if we click, so it's going to um, show our collection. And finally, to track all your sales or your orders from your e-commerce store is you go here to payments and click orders. And as you can see, this is the order that we did earlier. And that is it for this tutorial. We just learned all the basics that you need to know for us to set up an e-commerce store on your Go High level. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And don't forget, if you're ready to try out Go High Level, use our affiliate link in the description to unlock an extended 30-day trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page template. See you in the next videos.